Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Nicole Havlicek. In today's video, we're going to talk about the number one thing that could be killing your overhead smash. Here's Jordan to fill us in. Today we're going to go over the number one mistake uh, when people hit an overhead, okay? So this is the number one mistake that I see beginner players and even intermediate players making, okay? And that mistake has to deal with their footwork, okay? So you'll see um, all four players at the net or maybe the opposing team at the baseline hitting a lob and you'll be here at the net in your ready position here and then you'll see the lob go up, okay? And then immediately they're going to, they'll just start backpedaling like this, okay? So they have their eye on the ball and they're, they're backpedaling like this with their torso facing the net, okay? So number one is very dangerous, okay? Number one, you could, there's a lot of, depending on your age and your athletic ability, it's very dangerous to be going back like this because you could fall, trip over yourself and hit your head or, or something like that, okay? So instead of that, instead of going back and you're, you're keeping your eye on the ball, you're not looking at your feet, it's very dangerous and also it's just, and you're not going to get back as fast um, as turning sideways, okay? So the correct footwork for an overhead is as soon as I see that ball go up, immediately I want to go and turn into this position. I'm just going to pivot and move my, my right foot back as a right-hander and my torso is going to be perpendicular from the net. So you'll see a lot of the really good players when they see a lob go up and when they see the ball they are immediately turn and you notice that their feet are perpendicular to the net. Okay. So Instead of going like this and you falling back and hitting an overhead this being sideways towards the perpendicular to net is going to give you a very balanced overhead and you're going to be balanced and in control of your shot. Okay, so I'll have my friend Danny, he's going to feed me some overheads. Okay, I'm going to show you the first way which you don't want to be doing. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and Danny. Oh. So it's kind of like that. You'll see some people uh, as soon as they hit the ball, they're just going to immediately start start backing up. And as you can see, I was very off balance when I hit that shot. Try again. Okay. So instead, I want you to pivot. Pivot your right foot back and, I'll, and then immediately go in this, in this sideways position. And make sure you're contacting that ball out in front. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So here we go. I'm in a ready position. All right. Okay, again. So as you'll see, as soon as I see that lob go up, I'm immediately going into this position right here with my feet, my left foot in front of my right foot, and so that I could really swing through that ball, okay? Um, and it's really important that it's always easier to go forward than to go backward. So as you see my initial step into this position here, I'm gonna really take a step back just in case the ball is going really deep into the court. Because if I go back too much, I could easily just come forward. If, if I just turn into this position and the ball is way above my head, then I'm still gonna have to go way back and I'm gonna have to hit it falling back. So I'm gonna actually as soon as I see the lob go up, I'm going to step back and try to create some space just in case that lob goes really deep, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right, so as you can see, it's just a lot easier to move. This way, I can move ladder, um, vertically and I can move laterally like this on the court, okay? So just like as um, a, a quarterback, you'll never see them back up like this and throw the ball. They're, o they're always gonna be right here, okay? So just like, just like a quarterback would throw a ball, this is the correct position for overhead. So just remember that 
um, it'll help you get to the ball faster and it'll, it'll help you avoid injuries, okay? So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. For more pro player pickleball secrets to help you play your best game, please visit primetimepickleball.com. You'll find a clickable direct link in the video description below. But before you head on over there, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos.